The United States will cease all implementation of the non-binding Paris Accord and the draconian financial and economic burdens the agreement imposes on our country. As President, I can put no other consideration before the well-being of American citizens. The Paris Climate Accord is simply the latest example of Washington entering into an agreement that disadvantages the United States to the exclusive benefit of other countries, leaving American workers, who I love, and taxpayers to absorb the cost in terms of lost jobs, lower wages, shuttered factories, and vastly diminished economic production. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, which I do, I cannot in good conscience support a deal that punishes the United States which is what it does. The world's leader in environmental protection, while imposing no meaningful obligations on the world's leading polluters, foreign leaders in Europe, Asia, and across the world, should not have more to say with respect to the U.S. economy than our own citizens Thus, our withdrawal from the agreement represents a reassertion of America's sovereignty. In short, the agreement doesn't eliminate coal jobs. It just transfers those jobs out of America and the United States and ships them to foreign countries. This agreement is less about the climate and more about other countries gaining a financial advantage over the United States. Compliance with the terms of the Paris Accord and the onerous energy restrictions that is placed on the United States could cost America as much as 2.7 million lost jobs by 2025 according to the National Economic Research Associates. This includes 440,000 fewer manufacturing jobs, not what we need. Believe me, this is not what we need. Including automobile jobs and the further decimation of vital American industries on which countless communities rely. I'm willing to immediately work with Democratic leaders to either negotiate our way back into Paris under the terms that are fair to the United States and its workers, or to negotiate a new deal that protects our country and its taxpayers. Oh, if the obstructionists want to get together with me, let's make them non-obstructionists. I will work to ensure that America remains the world's leader on environmental issues, but under a framework that is fair and where the burdens and responsibilities are equally shared. <laughs>